Joyce Banda was born in the small Malawian village of Zomba. She says her father always told her she would be a leader even if things that happened in her early life didn't point toward that direction. At 21, I, I, I was married. At 26, I had three children. At 30, I was divorced, deep in an abusive marriage. And I remember my mother teasing my father to say, where is the leader now? But those challenges made her better prepared to be a leader, she says. As a government minister for women and children's issues, she championed the passing of a domestic violence bill in 2006. But to carry out laws, solid infrastructure is a must. Because in Malawi you can go miles and miles, you can't see a, a court in the village. So even if you pass these laws, one, they are not domesticated, not translated in the local language, no courts available, this woman will just suffer in the, e, 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 silently. Based on a publication released earlier this year, Bender presented a toolkit that details how policymakers, civil society, community leaders, and the international community can advance women to leadership roles in Africa. So the first uh, recommendation I make is to enhance political will to empower girls and appoint qualified women to leadership positions. Something the founder of a Benin youth group hopes will create more support among young people. I'm a physician, I'm a public health researcher, I'm a maternal and child health activist, but I want to see around me this ecosystem of young women, of women, of men who are supportive and who can believe in my dreams. To do that, men must be educated. Men don't like to be in a, a norm. For example, if you explain to Willie men that by supporting your wife, maybe the expenses within the house all hold, you'll share it. Yep. He knows that you're helping him. But while progress has been achieved, you see as much as things have changed, how little things have changed. The violence in parts of the continent are constant reminders the road ahead is filled with uncertainties. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Washington.